Hello, good morning. Today is July 4th, 2022, Monday. Uh, wishing you have a nice week ahead. And today we have this word, Jianhao Jiu Chie. And this is the character for today. It, che. it is a very old school character, so we modern day and usually it's almost nobody will use it anymore but it's very good to know this if you need to read some uh, Chinese um, classics okay, in the future Che um, this means a mistake and on, only used in the old uh, Chinese literature and essay it also means a position and also it to mean the loss or some shortage something not enough or some missing che wen che zi means some the words that are missing it can be a family name as a name is a phrase of old as mean che that is now surname k used in place of old mistake, mistake. imperial city watchtower old fault deficiency yeah Surname K used in place of old mistake, Imperial City Watchtower, old fault, deficiency. And because it's so old school, it, you cannot find a translation, a Google Translate. But uh, this means it is the old writing for the nowadays character Che, che Shao, something uh, that not enough. So that is the were the character that we use today did I use say that is a uh, normal writing Shao, and you can find the Google Translate with this word I think so you cannot find the Google Translate for this old school word but it can this one is okay a lack so this is the writing for nowadays means lack che che a lacking che fa che shao be short of a vacancy che che ba a kung ba kung che a vacancy kung che then this word is used very often nowadays not the old writing in this form and the old writing very complicated the pronunciation <coughs> the Mandarin pronunciation the che q u a che going down che in Cantonese could 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 fuck, could seal, okay. And this word, besides lacking, in olden days mean actually a gate. This slide that uh, this radical the meaning of door, so the meaning of gate is is reasonable. Okay, that is the gate, the door. Okay, and that is the cursive strip. How we write it in a fast way. That will be sent the door already, and here, like this. Okay, and I would go back to the original statement, thousand classic here. <coughs> then what the meaning of ji che? Ji che means a giant gate, but in this 
classic it doesn't mean it's John Cage. Actually it's just a name for this sort. You know, remember that a sort? A very a famous sort in olden days. And have a name for it. So there's no special meaning, it just means the name of the sort. And you can't uh, Wikipedia this one. Oh, you're gonna f- uh, yeah, here. It is the famous source in olden days. And one of them is Ji Che. Okay. Yeah, Ji Che. And you know, when it's west, then it will be that period. That period is uh, 221 years BC, from 475 BC to 221 before the birth of Jesus Christ. So, you know, so how long is it, when, uh, how old is that? And that famous sword, they call Ji Che. And all together, they not only famous swords here, the five swords very uh, famous. Kan Lu, Ji Che, Sheng Xie, Yu Tang, Chen Jun. And that five uh, swords are very famous. But that's all about history. It doesn't mean <laughs> it's not a purpose of our studying of the characters. We are used. We we have to explain the meaning of Chinese characters using in the modern days and the daily usage. So just remember that this word in olden days it means a gate. In this special essay, a one thousand character essay, that means the, the name of the famous sword. And uh, daily usage for this character is lacking, shortage, uh, vacancy, etc. And that will be enough. Okay, thank you, and uh, hope to talk to you about the next character tomorrow or some days later.